this video, I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know about Meta's new feature called Advantage Plus Creative, also known as Standard Enhancements. Advantage Plus Creative gives Meta the ability to, and I quote, tailor your ad for the person viewing it by letting us automatically optimize your creative. This can help performance. I'm gonna show you all kinds of examples of what Advantage Plus Creative optimizations actually look like. And here's the secret. I actually think that you should be using this setting, and I'm gonna explain why near the end of the video. If you go to the ad level of your account, you'll find something that says Advantage Plus Creative. Click into that. It may look slightly different from what I'm showing you, but it will be around the same area at the ad level. There's an image template feature, which will help you show a few variations of how it might use your headline and primary text to optimize your ad creative audience. Automatically. It can also modify your story placements significantly. That can help if you're not using 9x16 optimized placements and you're only giving meta a 1x1 static ad, for example. The next setting is adding catalog items, which is one of my favorite features. This will automatically display below your ad, very similar to using a collection ad or an instant experience. But it does look slightly different, and meta is going to only add this underneath your ad if it thinks it's likely to improve performance, just like all of these settings. I've seen some interesting variations of this, and the most interesting one that I saw was on my Instagram feed where there was a 9x16 video with the catalog underneath it and it actually took up more screen real estate than could fit on my feed. The next feature is called visual touch-ups that will automatically adjust the aspect ratio and the brightness and contrast of your ad. This is supposed to help the visual quality of your ad and improve performance. The expand image feature is a really cool one because it will expand your image to fit more ad placements. So if you only have a 1x1 image, it will automatically expand it out into a 9x16 placement for your story. I do believe this will use AI to automatically expand the image background so it can stretch out those borders for both 4x5 and 9x16 placements. And I see here in the settings it says we will apply text overlays along with your expanded image when it's likely to improve performance. It seems like some of these features overlap slightly. For example, the expand image feature sounds very similar to the image template feature. Now the next one is probably the most controversial. It is the music optimization. Meta right here in platform says that it's going to drive a higher click-through rate, which it actually doesn't say on any of the other features. So Meta believes that this is a really important one to use. Meta's description says it wants to add music to your ad so it matches the look and feel of the platforms that use sound, and you can let the AI choose the music for you, or you can select the music yourself. While I do like Advantage Plus Creative, I probably don't recommend you using the music feature because it's a little bit risky. I've seen this feature go horribly wrong, honestly. I've seen it play like Happy Birthday over some random ad and just get the vibe totally wrong. I've also seen it play death metal over a swimsuit ad creative, which is was really funny. <laughs> but the client did not like that, and unfortunately, they were the ones who caught it themselves. On the other hand, it can be a good idea to give Meta additional data signals that can lead to better performance. Sometimes letting Meta take the wheel can be the best move. The next feature is called 3D animation, where Meta will add 3D motion and depth to your image. I've seen this generate text above the ad. I've also seen it kind of like move the ad around the screen. I've also seen it kind of like just move and pan into the image. That opens the other problem, is you technically don't know what that expand image feature is going to do because it can do kind of whatever it wants. Next, there's the text improvements feature, which is an extension of multiple text options, which is a topic we've talked about on this channel before. I'm a big fan of using multiple text options, which is where you can place multiple primary text and headlines on one creative and let Meta decide which one it wants to deliver to which end user. The best part is you can break down that data and then get additional data about your customers by seeing which headline they like the best or which primary text they like the best. It gives you additional additional data signals to the algorithm, and it also gives you additional information on your customers. I typically put two to three headlines and primary text on every single ad creative that I launch. It helps me get more qualitative data about my customers. Facebook also has a new notification at the ad level that shows that it actually helps reduce ad fatigue by giving it more primary text and headlines, most likely because it's able to create more variants of the ad to deliver to each individual end user. And now Meta can use this text improvements feature to go even crazier 
and make more variants of your ad creative. The downside here, which is something I love about multiple text options, is that you get the breakdown of data on which headline and primary text is being delivered the most and has the best performance. When you're using the text improvements feature, I'm pretty sure that that data gets muddied because you technically don't know which headline is going where and what primary text is being used where because technically it can be jumbled all over the place. But even then, I still believe that giving more quality data signals to the algorithm is going to help improve performance. And even these notifications like, hey, put more headlines, put more primary text. Next, if you scroll down slightly within your Advantage Plus Creative Dashboard, you'll see the next one called Image Filter, which is described as we will apply minor filters to your image when likely to improve performance. Again, this feature kind of overlaps with the visual touch-ups feature, which says that it's going to automatically adjust the aspect ratio and brightness and contrast of your image. Image Filter says it will apply a filter to your image. So probably some overlap there too. Last but not least, there is the relevant comments optimization. If you're looking to get into Advantage Plus Creative Optimization just a little bit, I think this is the safest option because it's likely to deliver a really good comment right underneath your ad. Now before going into my own personal opinion on Advantage Plus Creative, which you're probably already guessing is pretty positive, I think we should talk about DAVs or dynamic product ads because there's some really cool stuff here. If you're running a catalog based ad creative, you can still use Advantage Plus Creative, but the enhancements change slightly. The first feature is called dynamic format, which is described as will show your ad in the format that each person who views your ad is likely to engage with. What this means is it may look slightly different on story placements where you can see a bunch of little boxes of your ads pulled from your product page or sometimes it will change the carousel into an instant experience or a collection ad experience. Turning on the setting Advantage Plus Creative for Catalog will automatically turn on the dynamic format that I just described as well as the product tags which means that your product tags will automatically be put on the data. Again, there's the music optimization, which is totally up to you whether or not you wanna use that. There's a dynamic description where it will automatically turn on and off the description of your data, whether or not it thinks it's likely to improve performance. This one I wouldn't worry about too much. Your description doesn't even show up on most ad placements anyways, and is pretty insignificant to driving performance. There's one called dynamic media, which is described as showing either images or videos of your catalog items based on what person who views your ad is likely to engage with. There's an info labels optimization, which will show information from your catalog as an overlay on top of your ad when it's likely to increase engagement. And lastly, this is the biggest update to meta I think that we've ever talked about, honestly, which is generating background. This means that artificial intelligence will automatically generate a background, crop out your product on white photo, and then overlay on top. Meta describes generate backgrounds as will create different backgrounds for eligible product images and deliver that version that your audience is most likely to respond to. This only delivers to stories, reels, apps, and sites. And Meta says, these backgrounds were created based on your original asset. Meta does not make any warranties regarding the completeness, reliability, or accuracy of generated backgrounds. Meta will not be liable for any damages in connection with the use of this feature. Now, I've only noticed this a few times on my feed, and what I'll say is it's not perfect. And the main problem is that there's no way to prompt the image. For example, in a perfect world, just like on Midjourney or on Dali in ChatGPT, you can write out a prompt saying like, I want a mountain background. That would make sense for a brand like REI that is selling like mountain sunglasses and hiking gear. Sometimes the images that are generated behind the product aren't even relevant to the product. Because there's no way to prompt the algorithm to push it in a specific direction, it seems a little bit too risky for me for some brands. Very similar to the music optimization, there's a lot of loss of control here. You have no idea what it's gonna look like until you see it on your feed which is pretty scary. Meta is only likely to use these features when it's likely to improve performance. What I will say is Meta has been busy trying to fill the gap of the preview issue where you don't know what the standard enhancements are going to look like on your ads. They've been making a lot of updates adding to the ad level preview of what your ads look like and there's even a notification here that I'm gonna show you on screen. See all of the ways your ad will show up across different ad placements including how it looks with certain enhancements you've selected applied. By default, you'll see a sample of the most representative previews, but you can filter by placement or go to advanced preview to see more. And this is all in an effort to try to give us more resources to show clients 
what the ad previews look like so that they don't get super antsy about using these features, especially when media buyers like myself actually do want to test out these features because they probably will improve performance. Now I will admit a big problem here is there's no way to tell if Advantage Plus Creative being selected on is the differentiating factor in performance for a specific ad or campaign. There's so many variables like the URL and the ad creative itself that you have no idea if that's actually the differentiating factor in finding you the performance that you need within a campaign or even at the ad level. Here's my personal opinion on Advantage Plus Creative or standard enhancements. I personally believe that it is giving additional high quality data points to the algorithm to help make decisions find the correct target audience, and find you performance. Even if you can't see all of the possibilities of what meta is going to apply to your ad, it expands the possibilities of what meta can do to find you performance for your ad. I also think by nature, it's a newer feature, which means less people are using it, which means your ads are gonna stand out more if you do use it. This is a huge deal that meta is adding this to the platform at all, a feature that meta is focusing on a lot. If meta believes that it is going to improve performance significantly, while you always need to take some strategy with a grain of salt, I think that you should test it out and see if it does improve performance. This is very similar to a lot of advertisers' resistance to Advantage Plus shopping campaigns when they first came out. Now, a lot of accounts that I run are almost exclusively using Advantage Plus shopping campaigns, around 30% to 50% of the budget, sometimes even more, going up to like 80% or 100% for really small accounts that just need to stay consolidated. It can be a really powerful tool. Also, because of these notifications, like using multiple text options, saying, hey, put more primary text, put more headlines, give the algorithm more signals in order to help it find performance. It's going to reduce ad fatigue and help you let the algorithm do the work for you to find performance and help you have more stability in the ad account. That's personally why I think Advantage Plus Creatives are a beneficial thing that you should test out and use in your ad campaigns today. All right, and that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me out so I can keep providing value in these videos for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.